Good morning folks and fellow shavers it's uh, Uncle here from uh, Uncle Shaves I'm going to do a shave with the um, yeah, I'll get it out sandalwood musk the version 7 from Ricky Ricky from um, oh, get it upside down Black, Black Magic Organic and we're going to test it with the Badger brush today in my next shave I'll test it with the um, the synthetic the suggestion is that uh, synthetics are better now I've got a fairly wet brush and I've got quite a bit large sample in there. Ricky suggested about half a sample tin, so that's what I've got in there. Which is probably eh, just a slight bigger than I would normally have for a cream. So I'm just getting that into the brush. I'm using the copper lathering bowl. I'll use the same bowl for both tests. Well, this is a little bit better than version 5 that I used last week, or yeah, it was last week. I am getting a sort of a lather. You see, it's not very, it's not that peaky, but it is a leather. I'll keep going at it for a little while and see if I can get it to a little peaky. I'll just add a touch of water, just a touch of water, not a lot. Still quite bubbly, but uh, not where you normally get from other lathers, but especially creams. Creams normally lather up really quickly. As you see, it's a little bit bubbly. Well, it'll probably work. So that's what I've got in the bowl. As you can see, there's still some quite big bubbles in there. I'm going to use that on the face, see if I can get a bit more out of it on the face. Well, oh, lost half of it. It's a bit better on the face, but I do have PAA cube on the face, so that might have helped it a bit. Yeah, it's, to me that's quite acceptable. Excess off my hands. 
Alright. Today, I've got the Rockwell 6C with the Wizard blade in there, which is on shave 17 today. Let's see how we go. First with the grain. Yeah, that blade is still good. She's still going. No tugging. Virtually no tugging. I don't want a new blade. Very nice. Oh, yeah, it's very slick. I can feel the protection there. Very nice. Better than version 5, that's for sure. Yep, much better than version 5. So this is version 7 I'm using. I think Ricky's pretty close now. The leather, uh, it is dissipating a bit. Put a bit of water. This bit. But it's quite acceptable. As you can see, it's, uh, it's not a thick leather. What's a leather? I reckon it'll go really well with a synthetic brush. We'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, it should probably go better with the, the finer pairs in my synthetic. Let's rinse my hands off again. So, then cross the grain. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, so this is plate three on the on the Rockwell. I don't want to go past plate three. Sometimes I use plate two, but not very often, it's mostly plate three. I probably could go to a plate four, but I can't see it being necessary. Yes, nice thickness. Residuals really, very nice. Plenty there, much better than version 4. Oh, sorry, version 5. The last one. The last one to try. And the lather is quite acceptable. A little bubbly, but uh, it does the job. So, if you're after a thick, creamy um, leather, you won't get it from this one, I don't think. We'll see what happens with the synthetic brush, but 
I don't think you'll get much better. Yeah. I'm losing that. As you see, see, it's given a nice layer on the skin. So it's just not as let's give it a work. See if we can get it going a bit more. Seems to be what you get. This with the badger brush. The badger brush I'm using is the Yaki uh, two band badger, 24 mil. It's called a glacier, glacier handle. Uh, the the badges from Getty are quite good. I don't lose many hairs on that one. Maybe one every couple of shaves, I reckon. Be quiet while I clean up around the mouth. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, very. It's a nice, slick, protective. I think version seven is pretty close to it. As you can see, I'm basically working on residual there. Very nice. Yeah. Here's a lovely feel on the skin. Well, he's hit the nail on the head as far as sleepness residual protection is on this version. As far as I'm concerned, very nice. And as you can see, the, the leather, you might be able to see it. I'll just put it up in the... It's, the bubbles are, I don't know. Are bigger than you would normally expect, but um, it does produce a nice slick coating on your skin. I don't think I need any touch ups actually. I think that's it. I'll go do. I'll just rinse off.
Back down. There's no weepers or anything. I, I don't need a cold wrench. It's a bit chilly here this morning. Back down, I'll put the alarm on and see how it went. Still there. Residual is fantastic. Great skin feel afterwards. I don't think the alum is actually getting to the skin. To be quite frank. I don't feel anything. I'll leave it like that. So what I'll do is uh, the leftover that's in the bowl, I'll put on the face. Oh, you can feel the goodness in the in the cream. Very nice. Get, um, oh, I'll get a bit out of the brush, that's what's in the brush. Now, as you can see, it's not really peaky. It sort of, it sort of peaks, but the bubbles are quite big. But it does the job. Look at that, beautiful. We can shave again now. It's sort of slick. She lose a little bit on the neck, but I'll leave that for tomorrow. Lovely, I'll leave it like that now. And I'll have my shave, uh, not shave, shower, as I normally do after my shave. And uh, we'll come back, do my post. We'll see you in a few minutes. Right, I'm back. Just finished my shower, so I'll go through to my post now. Um, just got to get my witch hazel out. So just a normal witch hazel, nothing in it. I'll splash it on first. Don't think it needs it though. No, I keep to my routines. Because the reason I use the chase hazel, I'm putting an aftershave on rather than a, a lotion. So it's the Jovan mask for men. Big bottle. This is a First splash of air out of this bottle. Mmm, very nice. Mm, nice. Reminds me a lot of the um, old spice actually. Mmm, sort of mixed between old spice and tobacco. Anyway, very nice. Shirt. So, uh, and then I put on the uh, Parasso Pre Barber. Just a little bit. That should be enough. As you can see, I'm getting right down on that little jar. That's my second jar in the last um, six months or so. Very nice. Alright, I'll let it um, absorb in. 
and I'll just go over what uh, we used today. The brush I used was the Yaki Glacier with the two band badger knot in it, 24mm. And we used the Black Magic Organic Sandalwood Musk version 7 which went quite well. Put that in the copper bowl. Quite a large sample and that seemed to work okay. So you're not getting a real thick creamy leather but the, it does work. The leather does work. Uh, what else do we use? Uh, oh yes that's right. The razor. The Rockwell 6C Plate 3 with a Wismet Wizardmet blade, or wizard blade I call them, um, on its 17th use. Still smooth as silk. And uh, I think that's it. And I'll just put, uh, when I go back into my den, I'll put on a bit of um, uh, balm over the top of that. And that, that's my uh, face done. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. The next one I'll do the um, I'll use a I'll use this brush. So I'll use a synthetic brush on the black magic cream and see how we go with that. Alright. We'll call that a day. See you next time.